Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day. We got a first huge patch inside of Modern Warfare. Patch being 1.07. It came out earlier on today. I've just managed to get get on and read the patch notes myself and it's looking insane. There's a lot of insane changes coming to the game. A lot of game balancing changes. It's going to be a lot, lot better to play after this insane update. First of all, nothing too well. This is probably the most special part about it, such as new content comes. We have a new playlist and a new mode, which is essentially the new mode is, um, well, new playlist, should I say, is Hardpoint. Um, no, the new mode is Hardpoint. The new playlist is Shoot House 24-7 Mosh Pit. Shoot House is a new map, and seeing as it's a 24-7 map, I presume it's going to be a very, very small map, very, very hectic, fast-paced, uh, and as I read the patch notes, you will soon find out that this map should be a SMG fest. And we also have the addition of the Kravnik Farm land uh, grandma map, which should be pretty cool. I've not seen anything on that as of right now. Or the Shoot House map, I've not actually seen what they look like, but I'm very interested to see what that's going to actually happen. <coughs> All this content is actually available for free as well. Uh, across the whole platforms ps4 pc xbox whatever you play is out right now which is insane no early ps4 uh, content and stuff like that like we've seen in the previous years uh, first of all there has been a load of bugs fixed which i'm not going to read too much into it's just sort of small minor changes that nobody really cares about next off we have probably one of my more favorite patches that have come claymores have been heavily nerfed and when you shoot them say if you see a claymore and you're stood in front of it but a, a fair distance you shoot it they will and if you're on full health they will not cause a single little bit of damage there has been many times i've shot a claymore trying to destroy it before i walk into it and it kills me anyway and i feel like what was the point i might as well have just walked into that anyway and there also is a reduced damage range so if you're far away they're not going to damage you as much obviously like they used to they used to basically map you with claymores you could be stood nowhere near and they absolutely finish you off so that is insane the removement of the battle chatter as well which is basically when you're running around the map and you hear someone on your team shout he's over there and you're thinking where the hell is there nobody knows but basically they're not being fully removed they've just been altered slightly um, where basically the enemy actually can't hear this so there'll be times where you your character might call out he's over there and then the person who's over there hears this he knows you're there and then you're dead before you even have a chance because i sometimes feel like when it does call this out i can actually see the opponent myself it's just the game can see it and i can't because i'm blind super super annoying uh, we have an increased recoil when mounting as mounting gave you pretty much no recoil and it was super annoying i didn't really mount myself that often as uh, you know i'm just not used to that feature obviously it's it was in Ghost, but it was so long ago, so I've not really been using that feature, so I'm not, this won't affect me, I don't know if you're one of them guys who mount up and just sit there all game, then this is going to affect you, I'm not sure how much it's been increased by, but anyway, onto the perks, the EOD explosive has become non-lethal, basically if you have full health and a grenade drops at your feet, it shouldn't hurt you in any way, shape or form, it should definitely not kill you. That's what I'm getting from this anyway, that seems what it says, it basically says that the explosives become non-lethal, assuming the player is at full health, so to me that seems if you're on full health, a frag drops at your feet, it's not going to damage you whatsoever. So to me that sounds like an absolutely insane overpowered perk, I can see a lot of people using EOD from now on, and seeing frag grenades, claim wars, and all that kind of stuff becoming pretty useless very very fast, so that is definitely something we need to watch out for. Lighting has been improved in certain areas of certain maps as there was a lot of dark areas and players were struggling to see each other so you could be sat in a dark corner, you can see everybody else but no one can see you, super annoying if it's happened to you, personally it's not happened to myself so I can't really give a um, an example um, but if it has happened to you then believe me it's been fixed, no more getting beamed by kids just sitting in corners. Footsteps have been reduced. Uh, in sound at a greater distance so basically you could hear footsteps coming from across the map uh, I'm sure you guys know if you play with a headset it was insane basically this has been absolutely nerfed to hell you won't be able to hear people from miles away only when they're up close just how it should be uh, to be honest uh, to me that's just the way it should have been from the start but there is also an update coming soon in the next update footsteps will be even quiet uh, will be made silent when crouching or ADS like it was in previous games. I'm not sure on the ADS, I think it'll just be quieter when it's ADS, but in previous games, if you crouched, it pretty much made your footsteps silent. That was pretty much one of the main purposes for crouching. I did it a lot when I'm sneaking up on someone crouched, they can't hear you coming. In this game, it's not, it's not applicable at the minute. Uh, you can still hear anyone anyway, So, but in future, that is going to be changed, so that's something definitely to look forward to. 
we have had a heavy, heavy amount of weapon balancing, which has been absolutely needed. Starting off, it's the only gun I can start off with. You know, you know what it is before I even say it. The 725 shotgun. Oh my god, this thing was unbelievable. And I'm gonna actually post a clip over my Instagram, or I might even post it in this video. There is a clip on Twitter where this guy gets a cross map kill with the 725 shotgun on ground war. And that's not a joke. Across the map on the River Quarry map, one into the other, boom, it gets a one hit kill. It's insane. This has been nerfed. It's got an increased ADS and hit fire spread so and reduced damage range. So you're not going to be beaming kids with this anymore. The spread has been increased so each shot, you know, shots are going to be missed. Obviously, if you know, shotgun fires, it fires multiple bullets and a spread, if you didn't know. So the increased spread means a few of these pellets are actually going to miss the target and cause less damage. So this thing, you're going to be getting a lot more hit markers with this. I'm not saying it's going to be useless it could still be op we've seen this before with op guns getting nerfed and it makes no difference whatsoever we'll just have to wait and see but thank god it's not as bad as it was the m4a1 another insanely op weapon the damage range has been reduced uh no increased should i say uh oh well, i don't know it's not going to cause as much damage um at range uh because this thing could free hit you across the map it was insane and a small recoil increase as we all know this gun was a beam uh, I never really used the M4A1 I've only been killed by it I opted for the Kilo as you can see in this gameplay it's, it's probably my favourite gun in the game um, very very insane gun but the M4A1 has been nerfed quite heavily so we're not going to see that it's not going to be as viable but believe me it'll still be a decent really good weapon it, they always are assault rifles uh, across the board have also received an incorrect increased hit fire spread to reduce effectiveness at close range as we all know hit ARs rule this game close range long range medium range you could be in kids with ARs from any range as long as you're accurate and um, so hit fire uh, spread to will reduce the effectiveness at close range and they also have been given less damage at long range uh, as we all know the time to kill is very fast in this game hence the reason we're getting free free bullet kills across the map this should not be happening anymore which is very very good it can be annoying for yourself because everyone loves getting a long range kill and long shots was easy as anything um, but it's going to be less annoying you know when you're the one getting beamed from, from across the map because we all know it is insanely annoying a buff now which i'm very excited for is the smgs have increased movement speed increased ads movement speed and a small reduction in sprint out time which means you can sprint for a little bit longer so your movement with an SMG is going to be so much faster and with this new edition of the Kill House uh, Kill House, what was it called? I will scroll up, Shoot House which I'm pretty sure it probably might be similar to Kill House of Modern Warfare 4 well, I mean, COD 4, you know, the original Modern Warfare um, this is going to mean it's going to be so much more effective SMGs uh, now a lot more viable option, there was good anyway I, I mean the MP7 and the MP5, two insanely good guns um, I couldn't decide which is better to be honest um, if you've used them yourself you'll know how good they are they really do compete with the ARs as it was so now with the little buff to the ARs there should be a lot more viable option which I'm very very happy about the Uzi has also received a buff in itself it has increased damage range I didn't use the Uzi myself but from what I've heard it was like a pea shooter it didn't do any damage whatsoever so that is um, you know going to be a lot better if you do want to use the Uzi and LMGs across the board as well have an increased hit fire spread but apart from that there's not much else to add there is a few other little bugs that have been fixed and it sort of saves them like in the cyber mode I forget what it's called and a load of other modes and the stuff to do with the challenges as well to make the challenges work correctly because there was a few bugs with the challenges not working and you required more XP to level up and it says it was really buggy all of them have been fixed as well so if you have been affected by any of them then you shouldn't anymore Obviously, there's still going to be a few more bugs in this game. We're not going to be able to get rid of them all. It's the way it is. Um, but from now on, this game should be a lot more fun, a lot more enjoyable to play. But anyway, guys, I'm going to have to end the video here. I'm so hyped to hop on and play 1.07. I've not actually played it yet. I'm going to do that right now. But thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you do want to see more daily Call of Duty content just like this one, make sure you do hit that subscribe button down below. And thank you guys ever so much for watching. Please leave a like. And peace.